My name is Lars Felber. I'm the PR director for Elgato Systems. We're a company based in Munich in Germany with um, a branch in uh, San Francisco in California and we make connected home products for Apple HomeKit. On top of uh, your connected home Internet of Things product line, Elgato is known in, uh, in our gaming community as the game capture company, the capture card company. Uh, what kind of knowledge have you guys brought from bringing those products to market that you are able to bring in the development and the marketing of the Internet of Things line? Well, for both product lines, it's important to keep the software up to date. Um, Apple HomeKit is making uh, lots of progress recently. Um, iOS 10 was a huge milestone, iOS 11 is a huge milestone, and we always get out new firmware for our devices to support all the new features in those iOS versions. And the same thing is what we do for the gaming products. New features in Windows, new um, video standards, higher resolutions like 4K. Uh, we always try to support that in hardware and software. And um, for the IoT products, um, we already have uh, the second generation out for many of our accessories like uh, um, the EVE Room is the second version of our air quality sensor and that's being introduced here at CES. <laughs> And uh, you just mentioned Room. Uh, when you guys are in the R&D labs figuring out what products or what problems to solve, uh, what's the thought process that led you to a product like Room? Did you, did you, what kind of market analysis do you do? Are you looking at your competitors in the IoT space? Or are you really just thinking from the ground up? Of course, we uh, check first what's possible in HomeKit. What is a product um, that makes sense to use uh, with HomeKit? Can you automate other things with it? Um, is there a market for it? Is it maybe a global product, which is a huge advantage if you can put that product on all the shelves in Apple stores worldwide? But also, um, is it something that ties in with um, the way we have designed our software? Um, for HomeKit, we have an app called Eve and that app aggregates data and visualizes data in, in beautiful graphs and an air quality sensor is a perfect product for that. And then there is another thing, um, we have products that we find interesting and that we think um, could be a contribution to, to HomeKit, but we're not able to do these ourselves like smoke alarms. Smoke alarms is very complex to do, so we look for partners. And in Europe we have a great partner called Haga, they are leading manufacturer of smoke alarms and all we do is take their smoke alarm, put our home kit intelligence in there and our Bluetooth hardware, um, implement it uh, so it works with our app and with home kit. And then we have a perfectly uh, working product um, from a specific hardware manufacturer with our own home kit intelligence in it. I think another product that I, I saw was the Eve Aqua. Uh, which I don't think there's anyone else doing this, but it was one of those products where I slapped myself in the head. I'm like, of course. All right, do you have these moments in the office where you're like, why didn't we think of this years ago? Yeah, the Eve Aqua is a great example of that. Um, however, uh, if we would have thought years ago um, this could be a product, then it would have been in vain because uh, the support for irrigation control is brand new in HomeKit. We couldn't have made uh, such a product a year ago. So. Um, this uh, is something that you're able to do right now, but not beforehand. But a product that, where you really think, mm, we should have done this two years ago, is Eve Button. Um, Christmas tree, you plug it into, into a smart plug and then you, you use Siri. That's great for people who love uh, voice assistants. But those members of the family who loathe voice assistants, a button is a perfect product for them. Just click and boom, Christmas tree on. Awesome. And you know, uh, that's interesting that you mentioned that it was the evolution of iOS that allowed for this, your Aqua product to be born. How has it been working with Apple? Do, do you have an ongoing conversation with them as a product maker or is it more like they let you know what's happening and then you build? We find them really helpful. Of course, there are things that we still wish HomeKit would have. Um, there are areas where they uh, have yet to catch up with Alexa and maybe um, the Google Assistant. But on the other hand, uh, we have a dozen products out for HomeKit, so development for us uh, has been really smooth. Um, 
Uh, so we are quite happy overall. Are you going to remain HomeKit exclusive or are you open to the other platforms? For now, it's HomeKit and HomeKit only for us. We're super happy with the platform and, of course, with our sales. And uh, so when, uh, where, where can we find out more about these products and like, what, uh, how much would the, uh, the, the air quality sensor cost? Air quality sensor now that it has an e-ink display and a much more sophisticated sensor built by Sensirion. Um, it is it'll be 99.95, and um, you can learn all about it on elgato.com/eve.